Kids. Welcome to the Biblically Centered Kids Podcast. Today is October 20th, 2024, and it's going to be a great Sunday today. My name is Miss Danica, and I'm excited to guide you on a draw along. And we're actually going to get right to it today. So I'm going to give you a little time. Go grab your piece of paper, pens, pencils, or crayons, whatever you want, and then we'll get started. So for today's draw along, we're actually going to draw a picture from our New Testament story this week. If you remember, we talked about Jesus calling some fishermen to be a few of his disciples. They went on to be called fishers of men instead of fishers of fish. So to start off, I'm going to have my paper going across or long ways or horizontal. So the long side is going across and my shorter side is up and down. So I'm gonna tell you what this picture is first and then I'll kind of tell you what we're gonna do. So our picture is going to be of a fisherman standing on the front of his little rowboat, um, throwing out a net into the water. And we're gonna make it maybe be at sunset or sunrise um, because they worked really hard often, sometimes through the night or very early or very late. So. We've got our paper long ways. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start drawing the front of my boat. We're only gonna see part of it. So I'm gonna have the front of my boat coming from the left side of my page over to the center and back down out of the frame. So it's just gonna look like the very front of my boat. It's just barely sticking up on my paper. That way we have enough room for everything else, okay? So I'm gonna take my pencil, I'm drawing a line um, maybe about an inch, or if you were to take your thumb and put your thumb on the bottom of the page up about that tall, I'm going to do my line towards the center, curving up just a little bit to make the point of my boat. And then once I hit the center of my page, I'm going to draw another line from that one, and I'm going to draw it curving back down until it goes off the bottom of my page. So it's kind of like... A weird triangle almost. So that's gonna be the front of my boat where my fisherman is actually gonna be standing. So I'm gonna have my fisherman standing at the very front of that boat and he's gonna be maybe half of my page tall. And because we're gonna make it at sunset or sunrise, he's just gonna be a silhouette. What that means is we're not really going to see any color or anything because all of our color is going to be in the background in our sun and our sky and kind of coming down into the water. So he's just a silhouette. So he's just going to be a colored in figure um, that we just know is there, but not super detailed. Okay, so I'm going to draw him. I'm going to make his head. I'm going to connect that to his neck have his chest or his back because he's actually going to be throwing our net kind of to the back of our paper and then his two legs and he's kind of standing in that boat so I'm going to maybe have his legs kind of bending as if he's standing okay and his legs are going to be inside that boat so we won't really see his feet and then, because I said we're gonna have him casting a net to get his fish, I'm gonna have his hands kind of either up in the air or kind of out as if he's throwing, pretend like you were throwing a net or throwing a ball. Your hands are kind of out in front of you. I just did that motion just now so I can kind of envision how his hands are gonna look. So I've got one arm and now a second arm. And like I said, he's just gonna be a silhouette. So I'm gonna take a crayon and I'm just gonna color his whole body a dark color. 
because we're not really going to see a lot of detail. We're just going to know it's a man throwing a net in the water. Okay, and now I've got his hands all ready to go. And now we're going to get a little bit crazy because we're going to draw a fishing net. So a fishing net is a giant net made of string or rope um, that can catch and bring in the fish. And it's going to kind of look a little crazy because when you're throwing a net out, there's not really a lot of order to it. It's just being tossed out. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just draw a big giant kind of wavy blob shape. So not really circle, not really an oval, just kind of a big shape. So it's going to start in his hands and then it's just going to kind of twist up and around and just kind of make a crazy organic shape. Okay, so it's like he's tossing that out. And then because it is a net, um, I'm going to kind of draw some lines, kind of crisscrossing uh, to make it show that that's a woven net. So I'm going to just kind of draw some lines all around. Make it look like it's a big net. So I'm drawing lines kind of diagonally and then diagonally across the other way. Okay, so I've got that cross hatching. So it looks like it's a big net being thrown out. And I forgot to draw our horizon line. I should have started with that, sorry guys. So now what we're gonna do, because we have him in our boat and we have our net, but we don't have him placed in a, in a lake. So I'm actually going to draw a line slightly below halfway, all the way across my page. And in the background, maybe I'll draw some little hills kind of coming up from there because that's gonna be the landscape back there. And then I said it's gonna be sunset or sunrise. So I'm gonna draw my sun very low off on the horizon. I'm gonna draw a very small circle towards the bottom of my page. That's gonna be my sun. And then to show this is the water, I'm gonna show a reflection. So I'm gonna put kind of an oval in my water right underneath my sun. And so that way, when I color my page, everything I color on the top half, I'm gonna mirror that or flip it on the bottom to kind of show the reflection in the water. And I think it's gonna be kind of peaceful in my water, but I'm still gonna draw kind of some waves and ripples. And I think that'll add and help it really look like water. Okay, so that looks really good. And now I just need to color mine. How did yours turn out? Did it convey a fisherman casting out a net? Feel free to use your drawing today to relay this week's New Testament story to a friend or a sibling or a parent. And I hope you love it when you finish coloring it. I'm sure you did such a great job. Well, I can't wait for you to join us again tomorrow for a new week and a new biblical family virtue. Until next time.